Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Nitesh Tiwari Technical Hub. In this video series lecture, we are talking about the design and control of buck converter using MATLAB and Sumulink. And in this video, we are talking about the we have to talking about the closed loop buck converter using PI controller. So this is the basic block diagram of closed loop buck converter using PID controller. So this is the buck converter what we have to discuss earlier and this is the PID controller. So what we have to do, we just take out uh, output value as the your feedback signal and they compare this feedback signal to the reference value what we have to want and error of these signals will going to uh, was going in the this PID controller and the output of this PID controller is feeding as the input of the gate pulse of the MOSFET. So this is the basic structure of PID controller where KP, KI and KD is the gain block. This is the integrated block. This is the differentiator block and we have to sum these three, uh, three parameters and then we are, our output will come out. So uh, for, uh, modeling this, uh, for modeling of this PID controller, we have to understand about this basic equation of PID controller where the total output is the P0 plus I0 plus D0 what I have to discuss that P0 plus I0 plus D0 is the uh, total output and uh, the P0 value is uh, KP ET, I0 value is KI integration 0 to T, ET DT and D0 is KD differentiation of ET with respect to DT and this is the equation of the transfer function of PID controller. So when you are going for the modeling of PID controller then you learn this equation or you write this equation and depending on this equation we have to uh, model. So for modeling of P0 what we have to do we just take a constant and it's multiply by ET. For I0 what we have to do, to do we take error, we differentiate error and multiply uh, apply these all value with KI. Same occur with the D0. So let's see how to uh, do and how to make this model with the help of MATLAB and Simulink. So this is your MATLAB and Simulink interface and going to this Simulink block you are found a new page and you can make the buck converter using PID controller in this manner what we have to, uh, what is the look like. So in this figure you have to see that this is the basic buck converter what we have to discuss earlier and the, all the parameter of this basic buck converter that is the parameter what is the input voltage 100 voltage what we have to apply in earlier L value this R value this load value so all the parameter is the same as we discussed earlier what we have to change we just use this controlled block in here and try to find the what is the output we have to got so 100 voltage is our input 70 voltage we are applying as the reference voltage. So let's talk about the PID controller. So this is the basic block of PID controller and if you want to modeling this PID controller, so you just take error as a signal as I discussed, you uh, uh, multiply this signal to the gain block and then you are using zero order holder. After that you are modeling for KI block so you just make a, take a constant block, you write KI here and then you have a discrete integrator because I want to make a discrete type of PID controller and I, I'm not making a, a KD block because I uh, uh, assume that the KD value is going to zero so I don't make this block and after summing this value we pass this value to the saturation out, uh, block what we have to discuss earlier which, the, uh, which have the some upper limit and lower limit set at and the output is going to be compared with this reference this signal generator which uh, amplitude of 100 and the frequency of 5k uh, and they compare these two value with the help of this comparator and the uh, output of this comparator is going as the input of this uh, gate, uh, gate uh, terminal. So uh, this is the first method of uh, designing. In the second method what you have to do, you just type PID in your symlink library and found this block. You are found this block and when you double click on this block, a separate, a separate window will going to be open. So this is your PID controller what you have to see. If you want PI use PI, uh, this block as a PI controller then you can select PI, PD, PNI depending on your requirement. And this I am using a discrete time domain system so uh, select discrete time here 
and after that you just put the value pi and d i am taking d is 0 it means the this is the pi controller or we can just select pi here so we got this value so what is the value of p and i we have to uh, use in this uh, converter so we are using pid value is uh, 10 is the pi value and 100 is the uh, sorry 10 is the p value and 100 is the i value so by putting this p and i value we here we just put p and i value here and after that uh, your P, this PID controller is made and this is same as the, this PID control. So you have a two method of uh, uh, t taking PID control. Either you have to design this PID controller using this transfer function model and all or you can directly s select it from the Simulink library. So okay, I'm just modeling it and after that you have to run this system. And once you run your system, uh, you found that your compiling process is going on and after that your run will complete. So you are uh, trying that you want to obtain the output voltage as 70 volt and you got approximately 70 volt and uh, if you see the if you want to see the what is the graph will come for PID controller so this is the basic graph what you have to obtain so what is what you see in this graph that in the previous uh, in the closed loop uh, buck converter without any control system you found a highest value in the input side and uh, this problem is reduces here this problem is we have to neglect here and uh, your output volt uh, your voltage is up to 70 voltage so this problem is uh, uh, reduces here and we got a steady state value we don't find any kind of ripple we only uh, run this model for 0 0.5 second and we don't find any ripple in our, in our output voltage it means it's fine so after that I am trying to compare my model. So uh, for comparing this model, I'm, I have this figure what I have to discuss in the whole. So this is the output response of open loop buck converter in which what you have to find that we have some ripple in the output. So this ripple is going to be compensate or going to be reduced by using closed loop buck converter without any control technique. But once more pro problem is coming that at the starting your voltage will increase in the highest value and after that it will be going to reduce and this problem we have to nullify with the help of using this PI controller technique and we got a smooth voltage it means your PI controller is better than this your closed loop buck converter without any control technique or open loop converter technique so in the next video we are talking about the closed loop buck converter using fuzzy logic controller so thank you everyone thank you for seeing my videos thank you